Bulls Nation, the long, tedious saga of Larry Markkinen is finally coming to an end as we now know the decision made by the Chicago Bulls and the decision made by Larry Markkinen and it is a sign and trade and he is out of the Chicago Bulls. Many people will be very excited about this news and I'll talk about everything involved, especially who we're getting in return. So without further ado, let's talk about Larry Markkinen. Let's talk about the Chicago Bulls and this sign and trade in this video. Let's do it. What's going on, everybody? It's the Aiden Sports Show, and welcome back to another video. Today, we've got a Chicago Bulls related video referring to the sign and trade of Larry Market, and he is off and going to another team, and we are getting players back and picks back in return. A lot of the people that said we couldn't get a first rounder back, a lot of them are going to be eating their words, including myself. I didn't think we'd get one at the end of the day, and ladies and gentlemen, we have gone and got one. But we'll talk all about that and more. Before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about this trade for Larry Markkinen. I should tell you the trade now and that's exactly what I'm going to do. This is a three-team trade between the Portland Trailblazers, the Chicago Bulls, and the Cleveland Cavaliers. First things first, we're going to be giving up Larry Markkinen to the Cleveland Cavaliers in the sign and trade that, make, that makes Larry Markkinen earn $16.25 million, I believe, per season season and it's a four year 67 million dollar deal so hopefully that maths adds up if not i apologize but he's basically getting the money that he always wanted and he's going to be doing it on the cleveland cavaliers team i don't know what the situation is with cleveland if he's going to start over there um they still believe they have kevin love i don't know what's going to happen with him i don't know any of that situation but none of that is our concern at the moment uh for cleveland cavaliers fans i think you're going to be getting a player that might be a little bit inconsistent but there has to be a team out there that can get the best out of this guy. I will never, ever say I dislike Larry Markkinen. I've said for many years, I like Larry Markkinen. Just by him leaving does not mean I'm going to change my mind on that situation. However, he did not want to be here. And that is the most important thing. As much as I like Larry Markkinen, I love the Chicago Bulls. I'm not a one-person player where I follow a person for their whole career. I'm a Chicago Bulls fan first, and that will always have my heart at the end of the day. If if you don't want to be here, then most people won't want you here. It's as simple as that. He's gone to the Cleveland Cavaliers, and I sincerely hope the Cleveland Cavaliers can get the best out of him because he has the offensive capabilities to be one of the best forwards in the NBA at his size. Simple as that, bar none. That's the potential that he has, and let's see if Cleveland will be the team that can get that out of him. And if so, all the best to Larry Market in the Cleveland Cavaliers. It just did not work out for the Chicago Bulls, and we'll see what happens down the line. Many people will be happy about this. We're going to be talking about the Portland side of things as well. The Portland Trailblazers will receive Larry Nance Jr. from the Cleveland Cavaliers. And this is also something else that I'm absolutely stunned by. Now, many people would love Larry Nance Jr. on the Chicago Bulls. And I am definitely part of that category as well. Larry Nance would have been perfect off this team. But at the end of the day, the Chicago Bulls were in a different direction. They probably couldn't get Larry Nance single-handedly from the Cleveland Cavaliers. So a third team had to happen. And maybe we saw a better deal out there for us. And I definitely think that is the case, especially with the draft picks we'll be talking about. Larry Nance to the Portland Trailblazers. They've gotten rid of a lot of players. So this makes sense in their, in their category for the Portland Trailblazers. Larry Nance is going to be a pretty decent player for them. Maybe even a starter for them. I don't really know. But at the end of the day... It's good for them. I think they've done good business here. Uh, the fact that they gave, I believe they gave away a second round pick. That's the team that they, that's giving us a second round pick via the Denver Nuggets. Um, I don't really know what's happening with Portland, to be honest. And th the thing with Portland is I don't see them winning a championship anytime soon. So if they're trying to impress a player like Damian Lillard, I don't think this is the guy that's going to do that for them. However... I still think that's a good move for them, and I think that makes them a better team overall compared to who they gave up. And especially because he wasn't getting... The player that they gave up just wasn't performing the best for Portland. And, of course, I talked about Larry to Cleveland. Who do we get back? Here's who we get back. First, we got a second-round pick from Portland. Second-round pick, pretty solid stuff, I would say. Um, yeah, it, it's a... It's a pick from Denver that's coming to the Chicago Bulls now. Second round pick. 
pretty okay. I'm okay with that. Very happy. A protected lottery first round pick, which basically means if Portland finish in the lottery, that first round pick will go to them. And if the Portland Trailblazers finish outside of the lottery, then that pick will come to us. Late first rounder, uh, mid first rounder, pretty solid stuff in my opinion from the Chicago Bulls. And let's be honest, everyone said we weren't going to get a first round pick for Larry Marketing. I said it, you said it, everybody said it. And the Chicago Bulls waited, to be fair, give them their credit. I've criticized the Bulls. They waited, they persisted, and they got what they wanted. They got their draft compensation back. That they did give away a long time ago with DeRozan, with Vucevic, with Lonzo. They got a little bit of that back. And that's what they wanted to get out of Larry Marketing, and that's exactly what they got. We also got a player that I've talked about a lot on this channel. You know it. Go check, my, go check my videos. I've talked about this player before, Derek Jones Jr. When I talked about this guy, he was on the Miami Heat and he's performing very well for the Miami Heat. He was on the Portland Trailblazers. His averages this year was 6.8 points per game, 3.5 rebounds, 0.8 assists, shooting 48.4% from the field, 31.6% from the three-point line. At the end of the day, a little bit of a down year compared to his previous year. However, we've seen with Derek Jones Jr., he could be an effective two-way player in the right system. And this is what I'm hoping we can get from Derek Jones Jr. off of our bench. Another player that is solid defensively and another player that can show some offensive firepower on given nights. Another player where if we really, really need to clamp up on defense, we could put Derek Jones Jr. in there and he could do the job for us. Another player that in my opinion still has some potential at 24 years of age. Same age as Larry Markkinen and I still think he has potential to become a very solid two-way player in this league. It's not the greatest thing. I still would have preferred him two years ago compared to what age we got him now, what he's averaging now, but that's something that we can't control. We have him now. He's a player that I feel the Chicago Bulls wanted a long time ago, and we've got him now. And I'm very happy about that. And I think this is the type of player the Chicago Bulls have been looking for. Two-way players. You've seen it with Troy Brown. You've seen it with Javante Green. You've seen it with Alex Caruso. You've seen it with Lonzo Ball now. You see it with these players. Patrick Williams, a player that we've drafted. They want two-way players. They want players that are effective offensively and very effective defensively. And this is someone that I think is another player you put in that category. So I'm losing my voice. I've been talking a lot. I did make a video before this, which will be uploaded tomorrow now because this will take the priority. I'm very, very happy. And again, good luck to all parties. Good luck to Larry Markkinen. Good luck to uh, Larry Nance Jr. I really wish we could have got him, but at the end of the day, we went in a different direction. We got Derek Jones Jr. a first and a second round pick. I don't think many people could be upset about this. Maybe he's not the player that many people wanted. Again, it's not Max Kleber, who's a pretty decent offensive player at his position. Larry Nance Jr. was the player that many people were excited about. Again, on Twitter, everyone was erupting when we saw it was with the Cavs. Everyone wanted Larry Nance Jr., but we got Derek Jones instead, and I'm still very happy about this deal. So Derek Jones Jr., if you're watching this, if you're not watching this, it doesn't really matter. Welcome to the Chicago Bulls. Welcome to the family. I hope you want to be here. He will be here for at least a year with $9 million, which again is a lot less than what we were going to pay for Larry Market. It's pretty much the exact same, the qualifying offer. So welcome to the Chicago Bulls. And I really hope you find a home here. And I really hope you succeed on this team because that's the best case scenario. You wanting to be here and you succeeding on this team because you'll get the support from the fans back and you'll also get the appreciation from the Bulls front office. It's time to show what you're made of. I hope you can do better than what you did last year. And I know last year was a bit of a down year, but I would love to see if you could step it up a notch with the Chicago Bulls and our bench. There's nothing more I want in this world to see Derrick Jones Jr. Um, do well, because I wanted this guy two years ago, and many people did as well. It's not just me. Many people wanted Derrick Jones Jr. last year, and we didn't get him. He signed with, he signed with Portland, and we missed out on that player. And I really felt like we wanted that player. But regardless of that, we push forward, we move on, and let's see what we can make out of this season. Our team is close to being set. It might not be over just yet, but we now have a clearer idea of who's on this team, who's gonna play, who's not gonna play, who's gonna make an impact, and which players are you most excited about? I think he fits into the category. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Have a wonderful and safe day, Bulls Nation. Smile, man. Be happy. I know this might not be the elite player. I know many people want to pause Zingas earlier on, and so did I. But 
at the end of the day, man, this is still a very good pick. This is still a very good player. And the fact that we got our draft compensation we've been wanting the whole time, I can't be angry about this. And I refuse to be. If you guys are, feel free. This is the avenue we get to express yourself and hopefully have your say on the situation. If you are angry, just... Tell me why. Why are you angry? And we can have that conversation. But at the end of the day, I'm not upset about this. And I'm happy that we're going to get a player that probably wants to be here over someone that does not. Have a wonderful and safe day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay tuned for more. Take care. And peace.